guys, for cheap games, Xbox Live and PSN code, check out G2A in description. More and more you guys are using it and use the code ECHO for discount. Hey guys, how you doing? My name is Echo and welcome back to episode 4 or 5 on my Minecraft New Biomes Explained video. Now if you don't know what this is about, basically the next big update is going to be New Biomes. So I thought I'd hop onto Minecraft PC and explain them in great detail so you guys have a little bit of an idea on what to expect when they are officially released. Now in the last episode guys, we passed 8,000 views and 750 likes. That is truly incredible. Thank you so much for the support on this series. Let's see if we can beat that. And recently guys, I don't know if you noticed, I passed 170,000 subscribers and 30 million YouTube views. So if you guys do enjoy it, hit that like button and let's get into it. All right then guys, so today's episode, we are focused on the Savannah biome. The Savannah biome is a biome I am highly looking forward to. Now a lot of people really don't know the benefits of a Savannah biome. If you do, you're awesome. If you don't, you're still awesome. So today, I'm gonna be going over in great detail what you do need to know. So Savannah biome was introduced in Minecraft PC 1.7.2, I believe, and that is what console is being updated to next, and it looks absolutely beautiful if I say so myself in shaders. So there is a whole range of things that do naturally spawn here. You've got the uh, Acacia trees, which are these trees. You've got tall grass, which has a lot of tall grass. So if you are ever short of seeds, this is the location you need to come to. And a very bonus thing about this, which means that the third location of this biome will be introduced for new um, villages. This will be the third location where villages can nat naturally spawn. As you can see, we've got villages over here and a lovely village right here. Let's see if there's uh, any trading can go on. Let's see what you want to trade. You want string for emeralds. That's actually not a bad trade. Let's see if there's a black, oh, there's a blacksmith right here. This isn't the point of the video, but you guys understand that. We only had um, the likes, oh. We only had the likes of villages in desert and in normal plains. That's not too bad, some apples and an iron chest plate. In fact, I'm gonna put this iron chest plate on. Not on you, on me. All right, so yeah, uh, a third location for villages to spawn is awesome because on Minecraft console, it is only in deserts and in plains or sometimes at the edge of waters, which really isn't a place for them to spawn. Now the reason why I'm also very interested in this seed, uh, not this seed, in this um, biome itself is because of um, horses. This is the other location where horses naturally spawn. Now horses, donkeys, mules, etc. They naturally do spawn in plains biomes, but they also do spawn in a savanna biome, which is awesome because it means you have more variety of horses spawning in your world. Obviously you can get the likes of cows, sheep, and other things like that do naturally spawn here too, as well as with pigs. And uh, now a new wood should be introduced. A lot of you have been talking about this. A lot of you asked me to do this specific location and the new wood is Akasia. Now this is very interesting and I like this wood a lot as I slowly gain some achievements. I'm just gonna show you what it looks like in, in greater detail as you can see here, see here. It's kind of like a lightish wood. It's a lot lighter than some of the dark woods that we have on Minecraft console, obviously, because it's a lighter wood. Uh, I'm gonna quickly turn this into the likes of the um, these and I'm gonna do this. So you guys can have a little bit of an understanding of what it can do on Minecraft PC. Um, so you can see the planks itself, they, let's put it in the light, it Looks, they're, they're very bright, they really are, and it looks absolutely stunning in any Minecraft world. Um, so this is something that a lot of people are looking forward to, more variety of wood types that will be introduced. Now a lot of people don't know, there is in fact two different, oh that's, that's a lot of pigs, that's a lot of pigs. We're gonna feast tonight guys, we're gonna feast tonight, let's, let's have some food here, let's just eat some food real quick, that'll do, that'll do, I'm sorry Mr. Piggy, I love you. But all right, so that's, that'll do it. We've got five food in case I need it. Um, so yeah, that was a lot of pigs indeed. So a lot of people don't know this, but it doesn't rain in this biome. It just doesn't rain. It's like, the, it's like the desert. So if you guys are sick of rain, especially on Minecraft console, if you're like me and you don't have the toggle downfall on Minecraft console, then you know you should be living in biomes such as deserts or when they finally introduce this to Minecraft console, you can live here because it doesn't rain like it doesn't in a desert. So this is probably the perfect seed that you could live in. You've got a village, you've got a desert over there, and no rain at all. So that's definitely a bonus to have. Now, um, the only other thing I want to talk about in this biome is that there is two types of savanna biomes, and this kind of has a combination of both. Uh, a savanna biome is kind of naturally flat, that's a ravine. It's kind of naturally flat. However, there is a second type of savanna biome, and this is known as a savanna biome 
M or Savannah M, which stands for mountain, which is like this, but they are extremely higher. Um, you do have seeds that are extremely high when it comes to the Savannah Mountain. Um, that one's quite big, but they can be higher. So even if you, even if you don't want to be looking for them, they, they can be a bonus because obviously they, they introduce more trees. It's more, it's more land to explore. Um, for me, I do prefer the mountain range one a lot more than I do the flat one. Uh, unless I'm building, if I'm building, then I will prefer the likes of the flat one, but this one looks like it's a cove, so it's like covered on the outside of uh, with mountains. And this biome is huge. On Minecraft PC, the biomes are, I'd say, possibly three or four times bigger than they are on console edition. I don't know whether this is because Minecraft PC can handle more. I'm guessing that's the actual reason why. Um, but hey, I'm, I'm really excited for the biomes that should be introduced at this current time. Voice shows are at GDC, which is the Game Development Conference in San Francisco. Who knows, they could be discussing some new features or they could be discussing the story mode. And we have a bunny rabbit there. I cannot wait for them to be introduced um, because the story mode is being created by Telltale Games and they are based in San Francisco. Voice shows did tweet it out saying that they are going to the convention. Um, so hopefully we find out some news because, well, it's actually been three, nearly come to three, three and a half months since we've seen a title update 19. It doesn't seem that long, but it really is becoming longer and longer. So hopefully voice shows can start to introduce new things. The only thing that I know we're getting in the, up the update confirmed already is the um, the custom flatlands such as Tolna's Dream and all the other cool things like that. So if you guys did enjoy this video and you do enjoy the series, as always, be sure to hit that like button. Let me know what biome you want me to focus on next. I think the next one and the final one could possibly be the ice spike biome or in fact the deep ocean biome which should also be introduced for Minecraft console in ready and preparation for Minecraft console edition 1.8 which means we'll be getting guardians. I've been Echo, have a great day and I'll catch you next time. Bye!